Hello and welcome to the Dashboard Digest powered by Nissan. I'm Coco Masters in Yokohama. Let's look at a few select stories from the past week, starting with motorsports, as covered by the Nissan Global Media Center. Nissan reveals its Ziad Racer, set for next year's Le Mans 24 hours. Formula One champion Sebastian Vettel gives us his thoughts on the Suzuka circuit, which he again mastered at the weekend's Japanese Grand Prix. And Yokohama City kicks off a new EV sharing program. Well, it was a big day for Nismo with the unveiling of the Nissan Ziad RC. Short for Zero Emissions On Demand, the Ziad is Nissan's answer to racing with electric vehicles. Invited to occupy Garage 56, reserved for vehicles that showcase innovative technologies, the Ziad will debut at Le Mans 24 hours next year, reaching speeds in excess of 300 kilometers per hour. After being on display this past weekend at the FIA World Endurance Championship at Fuji Speedway, the Ziad will return to Europe. Before Le Mans next year, of course, the Formula One season continues. Three-time world champion Sebastian Vettel again won at the Suzuka circuit and will head to India for the Grand Prix later this week. Ahead of the Grand Prix in Japan, I had the chance to interview Vettel about his love of racing, his role as Infinity's Director of Performance, and celebrity in Formula One. Here's what he had to say about Suzuka, what he refers to as, quote, a man's track. Uh, we have fast corners everywhere, but in Suzuka you have a lot and right after each other, so it really, you, you need to have the trust in your car, the trust in you, and it's just a, yeah, it's, it's a nice, there's really nice sections around the track, very tricky, uh, very challenging, but yeah, you go very, very quick, so it's all high speed um, around cornering from 270 to 200, 200, 220. You throw the car to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, and you, you really feel, this is, I think, really the track where you feel what the cars can do. Well, that's it for Motorsports for this week. For more on those and our other stories, do check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash Nissan Newsroom. I wanted to leave you with a report on a new program here in Yokohama in which drivers can use their smartphones to rent one of Nissan's ultra-compact new mobility concept electric vehicles. Choi Movi Yokohama will cut CO2 emissions, promote tourism in the area, and only cost drivers about 20 cents or 20 yen a minute. Thanks for watching the Dashboard Digest powered by Nissan. We hope to see you next time. Goodbye.